Well, hello. You know, I wanted to welcome my new subscribers, and for anyone that's come to check this out, it's just a project in the making, actually. And I just kind of, oh, chit-chat as I go along. I uh, was contemplating what to do about these walls, and rather than get this stuff all wet and everything, I'm going to try and put it in place with garden wire. So, I kind of have an idea where stuff is in there. And we'll get some more as we go. I also went ahead and cut um, some of my English ivy. And I'll show you if you can see. They have like little nodules for where they'll root. And we're going to put them into the middle and the sides of the wall to get them started. So. We're not fancy over here. Not really. If I was fancy, I'd have you up above this so you could see better. But what I'm going to try to do is just kind of get it in place. And you know, I was dumb. Yeah, I was. I was kind of dumb to put the uh, clear on here, not understanding what damage the algae can do. So I'm going to try to cover it as best as I can. I just wanted to hold things into place. I wanted to tell you too, a few of you have come to look for me <laughs> uh, through the group that is um, on my uh, about section on my page. Well. I actually have put in the comments in the description below the link to my actual um, indoor garden Facebook page. I haven't been doing a whole lot with it because I've been, like I said, really busy. I used to do a lot of social media and stuff, but not anymore. So um, I'd be glad to see your one of you had live posts that you were doing. I'd love to see that and share it with you. Uh, I was able to get some seed information from Charlene. She's a uh, subscriber of mine. You might want to check out her channel, Charlene's Hangouts. I'll leave that in the description below as well. And she found some really good quality seed. So I'm waiting to see how it comes out for her because I helped her to pick out some mites for her indoor grow. And we're going to actually have fun together. Uh, this uh, fall and winter which I would extend to you guys as well um, I don't know how much live things I'll do but I have a cooking channel so I want to make a lot of fun treats and stuff anyway we both uh, well we like to have fun stuff so we're gonna have fun this winter this is just um, this is just sad. <laughs> but I'm trying here I'm trying here Maybe what we'll do to make it go quicker is actually loop it around. Maybe that'll quicken things up here. Interesting, huh? <laughs> well, you know what I'm going to do. There's a reason why I got it like this. Because I'm hoping it'll hold its shape. 
so I can try to tie it in place. I don't know what will happen if I hot glue gun this in place. I was hoping, since it was flat, it would hold better. We'll see. We're going to use these ties though. I don't want to waste my garden stuff.
Okay, I'm going to talk now. I'm sure glad I wasn't talking. Believe me, be glad I wasn't talking while I was doing it. What I'm going to do is wait for it to dry, and then I'm going to hot glue it in place in places because I want it to be aesthetically pretty. Um, but for now, yep, yeah, looks like they're going to hold. Um, what I don't like, I'll fix with a hot glue gun. So, we're going to try and wet it again. It looks horrible. I know it does. But I'll glue it in place. Now i got to make sure all my little... Because I ripped a couple of them right out of the ground. Yeah, I did. But they didn't have far to go. Alright. Yeah, I don't like it looking all shaggy like that, like a wet dog. Um, no, I'm not happy with it, actually. I'm not. So, the only way I'm going to be happy with it is if I somehow glue it on to where it holds a shape a little bit better than that and doesn't look like a, a mess. But I got the basic shape that I wanted. So, yeah, rather than hold you here or me here, actually. I'm just gonna go ahead and spray it down and put these on. So I can glue it on and you can see it um, on my next uh, update, cause uh, it's gonna be a while before it dries. And I want to affix this in place. So what I wanted to do was catch one of these. Well, this is the bigger one. Remember I showed you? Oh, where have we got some nodes? Right against there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh... Well, I should have cut it longer. I'm just going to put it like this. I don't want to pinch it too tight. And again, I don't want it just slipping out. Okay, I'm hoping that that will do. These are low light plants, so I'm not too worried about their light um, requirements here. And they don't require a lot of water, so that makes me super happy. Being that this is going to be having to be watered from the back. So, go in. Can you imagine me being a florist? <laughs> no, I cannot. Alright, here, this is what we're going to do. Just so that we don't end up hurting anything. See, and the more that I have on here growing, the least you'll see all that shagginess. Um, yeah. And if you keep staying for these, hoping it's going to be all done in the first time. Well, it wasn't. And, um, I'm just going to put these on a playlist, actually, because it's just something I usually do when I want to talk to people. Um, I will talk and while I do this. Obviously, it hasn't turned out the way I wanted it to, so I had to uh, redo it a couple times. But eventually, I'm hoping to be able to decorate it with lights and, uh, you know, for every season. And, uh, I'm going to stuff that right up. It's, there you go. Alrighty then. Yeah, not the most patient, patient person in the world when it comes to stuff like this. But I had a vision, and it is the vision that I had hoped for. Uh, maybe I could edit out half of the complaining I've done. That'll be nice. Okay, now we got to look for our babies. Well, that's the final view of it for now. I'm going to try and um, finesse it a little bit more. But I'll show you an update on it. But I want to make sure I didn't rip out a bunch of my plants while I was doing this. I just happened to see one go this way. 
It was in the so uh, peat moss. And I'm the person that's going to be building a camper trailer. Oh, this is going to be just fantastic because I obviously don't know how to build. So, oh, there's another little fella. They should all be fine regardless. Well, I'll show you on my garden update as well as the other seed lipos. And I'm going to try to hot glue some of this on just for um, show so it doesn't look quite so shaggy. But in the meantime, I'll just uh, play with it and I'll talk with you later. You have yourselves a lovely day and I will as well. Speak to you soon. Bye.